Hi, I'm Max Weinbach with XDA TV, and today I'm going to show you how to remap the Bixby button on any Samsung phone with a Bixby button running One UI. Let's get started. So installing the app and actually setting this up is super simple. First of all, you're going to want to make sure the version of Bixby you're on is the latest version. So you can go down to About Bixby and it'll tell you if there are any updates. You're going to want to make sure you update your phone first. If it is not on the latest ver version of Bixby, this is not going to work. It needs to be on the latest version of Bixby. So once you're on it, I'm at on uh, 2.1.04.18. Uh, uh, That's the version of Bixby I confirmed this is working on. You can see here I have the settings. Uh, the most Samsung phones running One UI should ha already have this update. So I'm going to link the uh, actual article down below in the description. But as you can see here, how to remap your Bixby button on the on phones with One UI. Now, if you do have rooted One UI, I should mention that there's also uh, I, we made a Magisk module that will let you get Samsung's new digital well-being that came with the S10 and Bixby routines. It's not working without root yet, but that should come in a future that will, should hopefully come in a future update to Samsung phones. But for now, we already have Bixby remapping. This was announced over well, The Verge actually found it. Oops, just gonna deny that call. But The Verge actually found it while they were messing around with the phones at Samsung Unpacked. So. You can see here we have the instructions, but I'm just going to show you. So you're going to want to download the app from Android File Host. And once you download it, you're just going to want to install it. Sorry, this is taking a second. Here we go. Now that I have it downloaded, or downloading, excuse me, you're just going to want to install it. This app was made with a tasker. Uh, a tasker task which we exported as an APK for you to install. All this app does when you open it is open an assistant app. So in this case Google Assistant. So Samsung decided it was a great idea to blacklist the Google Assistant app so you can't officially remap Bixby to any other option. So you have to use this. Now there are there is another option if you want to set it up. You can use a quick command but I don't recommend it and I'm not going to show you how to because from my testing and a couple other people's, it works maybe one in five times. So it's not a really good, it's not the best way to do it. So I'm going to show you the app method we made. So you just go here, go to open app, select which app you want to use it for. So you just do Bixby button assistant remapper, right? So you can also set it up to double, double tap to open Bixby, which means a single press will let you open Google Assistant. So now press the button. Bixby open or Google Assistant opens. If you still if you do hold down on the button though, it's still gonna open Bixby Voice. And to actually get to the Bixby settings and Bixby itself, you just double tap. So it's really simple to remap it over to Google Assistant. Now I should mention the method we're using will also let you uh, remap it to Cortana. When you first set it up, I've already set it up and uninstalled it so the defaults are set, it's gonna come up with an option at the bottom saying which app do you wanna use as your default. If you have Cortana installed, it will let you use Cortana. If you have Google Assistant, which you should if you have a Samsung phone running One UI, as it is pre-installed, you'll have Google Assistant and you'll have Bixby Voice. You can ignore Bixby Voice, you're remapping that, so just select Google Assistant. Single tap, opens Google Assistant. And this is, is, it's really nice to finally have a way to remap it. So if you're not, uh, again, you're going to want to go to either Galaxy Apps or the Bixby, uh, Bixby settings to be able to check it. You go here. So in the new Galaxy Apps, you'll go up to the store, Galaxy Store, my apologies, they renamed it. And you're just going to want to hit update. And it'll come up with apps here. I got an update a couple days ago updating three of the five Bixby apps. So you'll be able to see everything there. Yeah, so that's, it's incredibly easy to remap Google, uh, the Bixby button to Google Assistant now that Samsung finally lets you do it, even though they try to block Google Assistant. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, do all the normal stuff, and uh, let me know if you're going to remap your Bixby button over to Google Assistant. As you can see, I of course have. It's, it's a great thing to remap it to, given how 
honestly horrible Bigsby is. I, you should just immediately remap it. So thanks for watching.